millions of miles away on a planet that was once much like ours something has happened a world has stopped turning leaving one side dark desperate dying the only forces left that can sustain life are the dark arts and technology to survive in this world you must use magic in the machines and even the strongest of creatures must now bow to these new masters. Greetings Earthlings, welcome back to my channel. My name is Raquel and I am so stoked, so hyped, so happy <laughs> that you're here this week. And in case that little intro I just had didn't make sense to you, here's what we got going on. My friend Mike and I had been wanting to do a collaboration video together for some time now. And I came up with the idea that we should both purchase the same miniature and paint it like totally different. But wait, we decided to make them even more different. We would also kit bash them, which is really, really fun. Hold on, there's even more. So Mike has this amazing channel where every week he paints a miniature and he comes up with this amazing, creative, unique, totally original story to go along with it. So he came up with an entire backstory, an entire world, and a reason why our two wolves would exist on the same planet. It's super awesome. I highly recommend you check out his channel if you're into miniatures, painting, or like great stories, you'll love it. So like, that's a lot of people. A lot of people would love it. Go check it out. Highly recommend, 10 out of 10. So my wolf lives on this like brutal side of the planet and He's bound to technology for survival and is like kind of mutilated by technology, like very cyberpunk inspired. Like I'm super into that aesthetic right now. I think it's really fun yet dark. <laughs> and then Mike's wolf is going to be the opposite. It's kind of like, it lives on a different side of the planet and it's very bound to nature and like it's almost like an elemental kind of spirit creature. So again, the full backstory is awesome. Check out that video, you'll love it. Okay, Raquel, you've been talking a lot. Let's get to the rest of the video. Before I stop rambling, there's one more thing about this video that I am so stoked on. I've seen a ton of people using the Culture Hustle paints and I haven't gotten the opportunity to try them yet, but today, I have two of them. I have two of them that I have had for a while and I've been waiting to try just for like the perfect like project. And I think they're gonna be great for this cyberpunk inspired wolf. Really excited to give them a try and kind of give you my feedback on them as well. And I'm just stoked on it. So let's go ahead and grab the green stuff epoxy and get to kit fashing to kick off this build. Yay! So the kit bashing and the priming is done and I'm 
really excited with how this is looking and I cannot wait to paint it because one, it looks cool. And two, like I mentioned earlier, I have two really awesome paints from Culture Hustle that I'm super duper looking forward to trying out. I have this neon pink potion. I've actually seen a lot of videos about the Stuart Semple Culture Hustle paints, but I haven't seen anyone use this pink potion. And their disclaimer is that it's maybe the world's pinkest pink. <laughs> it's the pinkest pink they could come up with. So I'm really excited to see just how bright and neon it is. It's like the perfect color for like a cyberpunk aesthetic. So I think it's gonna work awesome on the wolf. And then the other paint I have to try from Culture Hustle is the mirror paint, which I have seen a lot of videos about. And for the most part, they've been really positive and people have loved it. It's supposed to be like totally chrome, like look like a mirror. And I actually won this paint from the amazing Chloe Rose Art. So thank you so much, Chloe Rose. I'm really excited to give this a try. And I don't know that I would have gotten this on my own because this little tiny jar of paint is like 40 bucks or like something like that. But I've heard good things. And supposedly if you use this correctly, it's got really great coverage and can do eight square feet of painting, which is a lot for like such a tiny bottle. So that will be absolutely perfect for like the guns and the wires and things like that. Beyond that, my plan for painting this wolf is kind of like a classic gray gradient like you'd see on a gray wolf. But I do want to make the tail a little bit pink and I kind of want to do like a purple wash at the end. I think that will kind of add to the fantasy. So let's go ahead, jump right in, get to painting this, and then maybe build up a really fun base when we're done. All right, let's go. So I am done painting the mini, and before I want to move on to creating the base, I wanted to take a second to share with y'all my hot takes on these Culture Hustle paints. Let's start with the one that I, I can't recommend with, with all my heart. So the pink paint, 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 the neon potion it's pretty bright like i don't know that it's it's super remarkable how bright it is but to its credit i did paint it over a gray base so maybe it would do better over like a white base or something all i'm saying is it didn't blow my mind i think there's equally bright pinks out there and i think i even own some the one thing that would absolutely make me not buy this paint again is it's like super duper scented. It's it's like fragrant and fruity and I think they think that's a nice thing, but like I don't like it. 
scent. It's like I can still smell it in this room and it's driving me crazy. It's like that type of scent that you know they have just created to cover up a chemical scent or they've created for no reason. It's like super artificial. I hate it. I'm also someone who uses like a brick of salt as a deodorant, so maybe don't take my word for it. So the pink paint, I would only give two out of five Django's. It is nice quality paint. It is like a decent quantity for the price, maybe. I don't know. I think it would be great for some people, but not for me. The mirror paint, however, though, even though it's so stinking pricey, I'm very impressed. Like, I don't have a ton of ideas of what to use this for in the future, but this stuff is like liquid metal. I am blown away, and it's kind of a shame that I added some weathering to the mini because I feel like it's gonna take away from the beauty of just how shiny and bright this paint is. This paint also smelled pretty bad, but it's like a chemical bad. Like it's like clearly like open your windows when you're working with this bad, which for whatever reason bothered me a lot less than this. So this mirror paint, five out of five Django's. Would recommend. All right, let's go ahead and slap together a base and finish up this awesome kit bash. is done and I am so stoked on it. I really love how it came out and I'm looking forward to doing many more kit bashes, kit bash eye, in the future. <laughs> I'm gonna show you some product shots here and I'm also gonna give you a little bonus. I'm gonna show you a little bit of Mike's wolf kit bash as well. It's totally different than mine and I just, I love it. I love that we came up with such different things but in a cohesive universe. All right, thank you so much for watching. Here are the product shots. Raquel, I'll reel your hands in. What are you doing with these hands? project. Maybe it's still somehow secretly dog themed. All my videos seem to be dog themed. Bye-bye! <laughs> Bye-bye!